Welcome back to another Walmart video. We're gonna finish our weekend warrior and our candy corn bonus. So let's get inside and grab these deals. I need 15 offers to get back $10 for my candy corn and my weekend warrior. So let's head into Walmart. I went to a different store today and I noticed this basket of clearance. They had some amazing facial care products by Vanity Planet. These are super expensive on clearance for five bucks. There was lots of different things to choose from. I did pick up a couple of them for Christmas presents because I thought they'd be great items and they had super low prices. There was lots of clearance over here in this store. I did not pick up a ton of it. I did, however, pick up some Hot Wheels for my nephew. His birthday's coming up and they had a 36 pack of Hot Wheels down to 20 bucks, which is 50% off. I'm just showing you some of the items they had so you can get an idea what to look for. I decided to go ahead and start my Ibotta haul. I'm gonna start my haul with some Amy Soups. Some of these are priced at $2.18 and some are $1.98. I went ahead and grabbed this not chicken noodle soup. I guess it's just vegan or vegetarian. It's priced at $1.98. I bought it was giving back 75 cents for the soup. And there was a 10 cent any soup offer attaching, making the final cost for the soup just 85 cents. While I was at this store, I decided to look at the food clearance. There's lots going on in the pizza department. So if you need some instant meals or pizza, take a little walk down the frozen food section. There's so many things to choose from if you need some clearance prices and some food for your family. They had some pretty good prices, but the store was out of a lot of them that were super duper pretty, pretty cheap. And I honestly came to this store because I thought they'd have more stock in the items that I wanted for my Ibotta haul, but they didn't. So here I am going back to my trusty Walmart that I go to every single week. I wanted to show you these grills on clearance. We grabbed a Blackstone for 50% off, which is awesome. They have a Pit Boss, gas grills, and smokers. So definitely give your Walmart a checkout if you need a grill. But we're gonna get into our Ibotta haul. I finally was able to find the You Buy Kotex liners for $2.78. I'm gonna use this $1 printable from coupons.com. I have it linked down below. At the register, I'll pay $1.78. I'll redeem back for a 50 cent offer and a $2 bonus for buying one, making this a 72 cent money maker just by buying one product. That's awesome. Next, I decided to go for these always period underwear. At my store, they're priced for $3.97. I have a dollar coupon from the October PNG, so I'll pay $2.97, redeem for $2 on Ibotta, making this box just 97 cents. We're gonna do a repeat deal on the Mermaid Aura Gel. They're priced at $2.47 a piece, but if you can find these peelies on these other packages over here, you can use two of those at the register. So you'll pay just $2.94 for both of these, then you'll redeem over on Swagbucks for $4 back, making this a dollar and six cent money maker. And it says you can do this twice per month, so I went ahead and did it again this week, just in case the offer disappears. Next, another repeat deal on the Tresemme Shampoo and Conditioner Minis. Last time I bought a shampoo and a mousse, so this time I'm gonna go buy a conditioner and a mousse, so now I have a pair of each. I'll have to pay $2.94 at the register for these, but then I'll redeem over on Swagbucks for 1100 kicks, which is $4.40. So that makes these two products a $1.46 money maker, and now I have matching pairs. I will tell you when I redeemed for this on Wednesday, they had to go ahead and add the credit for the mousse because it did not pick it up automatically, but it was no issue and I got back the full amount of kicks that I was supposed to receive. I know I've showed you a lot of clearance, but they're clearancing out a lot because the holiday stuff is coming, so definitely keep your eye out so you can get started on Christmas. I also wanted to show you this Heritage Store glycerin and rose water spray. It's priced at $9.88. You could use a $1 hang tag, pay $8.88, get back $3 from my bottom, making it a final cost of $5.88. I know that's kind of expensive, but we never get products like this, so I was tempted. If your store has this Eco Lips Hemp Chapstick, you can grab one of these for $1.97. Redeem on Ibotta for $0.50, cents, making the final cost $1.47. I end up putting it in my cart, but I don't grab it because I had enough offers by the end of the video but it's a good offer if you need some chapstick. And you wanna hit those bonuses. I checked for Nivea, of course, still no Nivea breathable in my store, but a great offer if you need it. And the Nivea Nourish is a good offer as well. 
But what I'm going to show you is the deal I decided not to show you last video. It's on these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Masks. This coupon works on them. It says on any moisturizer product, and this is a moisturizing product. It's a boosting Hydro Boost Mask. And the coupon does not exclude masks. So I went ahead and picked it up and it did work. But if you're not comfortable doing this, just avoid this deal. I don't end up picking this up because I don't need any more offers, but I wanted to show you guys, you can get the CoverGirl Clean products. They have a concealer, a powder, a foundation, all priced at $5.94. You can use a $3 printable from coupons.com, pay $2.94 in the store, get back $2 from Ibotta, making your final cost just $0.94. Cents. I know this coupon doesn't work on all of these products, even though it should because it says clean on the packaging. My plan was to see what items it worked on for you guys, but unfortunately there was so much going on at checkout, I was not able to do that for you guys, I'm sorry. But in theory, this coupon should work on all of these products. The next deal I'm gonna do is grabbing one of these Laughing Cow blends. There's a couple different flavors. I decided to pick up the Chickpea blends one first. I have this $1 Peely that I got at Publix. So I was going to use that and then I realized this one was out of date. So I went back and grabbed one that wasn't out of date. I ended up having to get another kind because I wanted to get the longest date. But I grabbed this one right here for $2.98. So just a reminder to always check your expiration dates. At the register, I'll only have to pay $1.98. I'll get back $1.50 from Ibotta, making it a $0.48 cent cost, which is not bad. I've actually never seen this product in my store. This watermelon water is priced at $2.98. I'm gonna get back a dollar for buying it for my bada. So it makes the final cost for this product $1.98, which is kind of expensive, but I know my husband's gonna love it, so I decided to pick it up. Stop by food clearance, saw these little packs of Cinnamon Toast Crunch for 50 cents. They were really cute and kind of tempting. They also had this hot sauce for 50 cents. I'm not sure how much these Rice Krispie Treats were, but they were in the clearance section, so definitely check it out. On to more food items. I'm gonna grab these Green Giant Rice Veggies for $2.48. I can redeem for a dollar for the offer. And there's a 50 cents bonus since I did the steamables last time. So that makes the final cost for this just 98 cents. Unfortunately, the offer for the steamable bags expired, but you can grab the veggie tops if you want to as well. I really like these, so definitely grab them if you want them. I wanted to show you a few ideas for the 10 cent any coffee pods offer. You could grab these clearance pumpkin spice pods for $2.35, get them for $2.25. Or you could grab this Folgers $1 decaf packets. They're only a dollar and only this one applies for the offer. So if you want that, you get these for 90 cents. I think we're getting coupons for this next week, but the Celestial Teas offer for a dollar is back. So I'm gonna grab this $1.24 pack of probiotic teas, and I'm gonna redeem for a dollar, making the final cost just 24 cents, which is amazing. Since I decided to go for quite a few food items, I'm picking up some more brown and wild rice. The Minute Rice Cups are $1.74. I'll get back 25 cents for my bada, making the final cost just $1.49. And these are so quick and easy, I have to pick them up. A little repeat deal on the Cheetos mac and cheese. I'm gonna grab the box for 96 cents and the little cup for 96 cents. The final cost for both of these will just be 66 cents because we have 30 cent offers on each of them. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. We do have a dollar coupon, but unfortunately it does not work at my store and they won't push it through. But if you're able to use that coupon, you can get even greater savings. Continuing on the food journey, we're gonna grab Campbell's Soup with a Crunch for $1.98. I'm gonna use a 75 cent printable from coupons.com. I think it's still available. Check the link down below. But then I'll redeem over on Ibotta for 25 cents, making the final cost for this just 98 cents. Don't forget the Super Coffee offer. If you have that dollar hang tag, it makes them a money maker, so definitely pick them up. Check out last Wednesday's video to see that deal. Some of those deals are also still available from that video, so definitely check it out. I decided to show you this brown cow yogurt deal. My offer is for buying two, so if I bought two of these for 96 cents a piece, my cost would be $1.92. I could get back 75 cents for buying two, making the final cost for both $1.17, or just 58 cents a piece. They had some clearance going on in the cold food section. They weren't marked, but I decided to go ahead and check the prices and the expiration dates. I picked up a couple of them that I'm gonna scan at checkout to see how much they cost because unfortunately the new Walmart update doesn't make it so you can scan clearance in the store, which makes me so sad, but I definitely wanna see how much these cost. I'm gonna do the Maranatha deal again for the almond butter. 
You have to scan the larger product to get the scan kicks, but for buying this and scanning it, I'll get back 325 kicks, which is the equivalent of $1.30, and this only costs 96 cents, making it a 34 cent moneymaker. I thought about grabbing this Nutso, but it's priced at $6.97, and I bought it only giving back three bucks, so it makes it $3.97, but it looks like a fun product to try. So instead, I'm picking up another pack of Dixie Ultra cutting boards. They're back on my bottom. They're priced at $4.48. We have a $1.25 insert coupon. So if you have that, go ahead and use it. You'll pay $3.23, get back a dollar from my bottom, making the final cost $2.23. We have some bonuses going on, so it'll definitely eat up this cost. If you don't have that insert coupon, you can use the Peely and just pay $2.48 final cost. Next, there's a couple of different finish offers. I decided I'm gonna go with the finish jet dry. You could grab the pods or you could grab the dishwasher cleaner. The dishwasher cleaner is the cheapest. I don't have any jet dry, so I'm gonna pick that one up for $3.97. I'm gonna redeem on the coupons.com app for $1.50, and I'm gonna redeem on Ibotta for 50 cents, making the final cost $1.97. If you get the dishwashing cleaner, it ends up being like 97 cents after the rebates. We still have coupons on the Airwick Starter Warmer. They're priced at $147. I'm gonna use that $1.75 printable. I only have two left, so I hope that they reset this offer. And each one of these will give me 28 cents of overage towards the rest of the stuff in my cart. If you got a kiddo you're buying snacks for, these little Sesame Street Earth Best bagged snacks are $3.58. Ibotta will give you back $1.50, making the final cost just $2.08. And I decided to go with some yogurt for my last thing I'm gonna grab. These Greek God yogurts, the honey vanilla one is so good. They only had one of the honey vanilla ones in stock, but I'm gonna grab two of them for $4.34 a piece. So my out of pocket for this will be $8.68, but I'll redeem on Ibotta for $2, $1 on each container, and $5 over on Swag Bucks, making the final cost for these just $1.68 for both, or just 84 cents for each tub, and that's an amazing price. My cart is looking pretty nice, let's get to check out. I only had one coupon not work, I'll let you guess which one. It was the mac and cheese from Cheetos, so I'm gonna go ahead and pay for this with my PayPal debit card, so I'm just recycling all of my rebate money, and let's get home and go over our final numbers. Went ahead and redeemed on Swag Bucks for all of the offers there. Got my money back instantly, no issues at all, as well as coupons.com and Ibotta. I always double check my Ibotta multiple times because I don't wanna submit my receipt without getting all of my credit. And let's go home so we can talk about these deals. Here's everything I grabbed in today's Ibotta haul. I went ahead and added up the numbers for the cost of this transaction, as well as the last three, so a total of four Walmart hauls, to see how much I spent or how much I made between those final four hauls. Those are the hauls that I did to complete the candy corn bonus. So I wanted to be honest about how much I spent, so let's take a look at this receipt. Like I showed you in the video, I literally only picked up one thing at the first store I went to because Unfortunately, they didn't really have everything I wanted, but they did have an Eric Warmer and an Amy Soup, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This got me two offers, two for the Amy Soup, one was an Amy Soup offer. So I spent $1.70, and then I got back $0.85 cents for the Amy Soup, $0.75 cent for the offer, and then a $0.10 any rebate. So making the final cost on this receipt just $0.85. Cents. On this receipt, I bought everything else that you see here, including the clearance. I already put it in the fridge. So this does include my clearance. So honestly, it was a little bit cheaper than I'm saying it is. Um, I'll put on the screen the actual final, final numbers, not including the clearance. I also already gave away one of the yogurts because my father-in-law was here and I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of it because we have so many yogurts right now. But I really do like this. I kept the honey vanilla one and I gave him the honey one. So you can see here, I paid $42.09, including the clearance. I got back $11.60 for the offers on Ibotta, but then I got back $17.50 in bonuses. $10 for the candy corn, $5 for my weekend warrior, $2 for the Kotex, and a 50 cent bonus for the green giant. Um, I also got back 13 cents from Fetch. I'm really close to that. You buy Kotex uh, $5, so I'm trying to figure out how I can make that happen. Maybe it'll reset, I don't know. Um, I also got back $9 from Swagbucks for the 
Aura Gel and the yogurts, which was awesome. Um, then I got back 1400 kicks from Shopkick, which is $5.60, making this receipt a 91 cent money maker. But between both receipts, I made six cents, which is awesome. So all of these deals are still available. I think the only offer that was expiring was the 10 cent any soup offer. So definitely check your app before you leave the store so you can check your app when you're in store because you always want to make sure your offers are still there. Between the last three hauls and this haul, um, I made six cents in this haul. I made, I had a 93 cent cost in my haul earlier this week. Last Friday, I had a 448 money maker. And then the Wednesday before that, it's $5 and 10 cent cost. But I was able to grab so many items. Between all four of those shopping trips, my final cost for everything was literally a dollar and 49 cents insane and if you take out the clearance from this which i totally forgot to do it was completely free amazing i'm super excited about this haul today let me know where you're grabbing i got some new items like the watermelon water and the amy soups and the greek yogurt and having frozen vegetables is always a great thing i still have to finish my husband's jack-o-lantern bonus so i will be working on that next week as always you guys hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye